Hi everyone, this is number 7 of your 2018 star released exam and basically it shows you a graph and they want to know which function best represents is represented by the graph of the situation. So basically on this one I'm going to look at the answer choices first and probably use a calculator since you can use a calculator. However, when you get to Algebra 2 and further, they will probably won't let you use a calculator. But I'm going to eliminate two responses right away. Because what I notice is my y-intercept, and it, it can just touch, it doesn't have to cross, it's right here at 0, 0. So if I look at these two, and this one, and if I plug in 0, the y-intercept means um, that's where x is 0. And if you want... You could change all these HTs if that bothers you and just make it Y. So, for example, on B, I can write Y equals negative 16. And then for T, which is your X, I'm going to write 0 squared plus 128 times 0 minus 256. Should have saved more room. Anyway, this all zeroes out. That zeroes out, that zeroes out. So you're going to get y equals negative 256. And that would be your y-intercept. So when x is 0, y would be negative 256, which it's not. It's 0. And the same thing would happen with this one. So I can tell you right away that these two are not the answers. All right? Then if you want it, you could just probably plug these in the calculator. Or, if you want to practice your factoring, and again, you can just change this to y if you want. Just practice your y uh, factoring, and let's factor out a negative 16. And you're going to get t. Well, let's factor out a negative uh, 16t. And so you're going to get 4 plus... Um, well, not 4. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so you factor out a 16, so you're just going to get t plus 4. So to get your x-intercept here, that would be um, y equals, and you set both of these pieces to 0, and if you set t plus 4 equal to 0, you get t equals negative 4, which is not true. And if you factor out this one, you're going to get y equals negative 16t times t minus 4. If you set this piece to 0, that means setting your y to 0, you're going to get t equals 4. So in this case, our answer is c. But again, since you get to use the calculator, what you want to do is try to eliminate the ones that don't work, mainly because anytime you have something like this, anytime, and I'll do it on here, anytime you have something like y equals, I want to make something up, 5x squared minus 3x plus 2, your y-intercept is always this last number. Because when you plug in zeros in here, This cancels out and you get y equals 2. So that would be, uh, and that helps you eliminate the problems. Um, thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.